everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full hair transformation. Now, I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey, but I am filming in my bathroom today. Um, but as you can see, my hair needs a big rescue. So I've been holding out for a while, and today is finally the day that I'm gonna be sorting, whatever you wanna call this out, the quarantine hairstyle, the corona color, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, I'm planning on sorting it out. So if you want to see my hair transformation, then please keep on watching. So if you have seen any of my other videos, I basically did a video where I showed you a testing video of me using the ginger hair dye that I use. And I've also recently done how I keep my ginger hair bright. So I've done that as like a separate video. Um, I will leave those linked down below, so if you do want to check those out, you can go and watch those if you don't want to watch a full transformation. But uh, yeah, basically in today's video I'm going to be using this. So this is the Garnier Olea in 7.40 and it's called Intense Copper. So I'm going to be using this today on my roots and then dragging it through the ends to kind of just brighten it all back up. And then once I've actually washed that off, like I said, if you've watched my other video where I actually show you how I keep my hair bright, I'm going to be using this. So this is just a hair mask that I've made myself and it's just basically a conditioner and a directions hair dye. Now I've also used um, crazy colour hair dyes before but today I'm going to be using the hair mask that I used in the last video and like I said this is the product what it is, it's the La Riche Directions semi-permanent hair dye in tangerine so that's what I'm going to be using. So once your hair has had a good brush and you kind of just look like a frizzy mess. Basically I want to get some clips, so I just use a basic one and I just section my hair straight down the middle. Now I only do it straight down the middle because 9 times out of 10 that's where I have my part in. So this is the before of my hair. As you can see this is my natural colour right here. If I come really close, this is my natural colour. Um, so it's like a mid dark brown sort of colour. And obviously it's just grown out. My hair's been growing obviously because I'm pregnant. And yeah, it's about time I kind of sorted the mop. So yeah, literally if you have a hair colour similar to mine, you'll be able to see kind of how this hair dye reacts on my hair. Um, but yeah, so this is the colour we're going to be changing today. And I just wanted to show you a really good before of how my hair looks, like before I put the new dye on. So yeah, take a good look because these... I'm gonna go. So when you're ready to start applying, you want to apply some gloves. These are just my own. I prefer to use these because they fit my hands a bit better than the big ones that you actually get in the box. Just remember if you haven't done your own hair before, obviously do it at your own risk. I'm not a hairdresser, so please. Don't follow this as gospel, like literally there's instructions in the box if you want to use it and just remember to do a patch test. But um, yeah, I'm just literally showing you what goes well for me, so. Right, so you've got your section. I always do this part of my hair first because roots kind of develop faster than your pre-treated hair really. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done. If you, uh, if you aren't very neat at this, then what I would suggest is maybe putting some Vaseline around your hairline. Um, as I said, I'm like not a hairdresser and I'm not the most professional. I don't bother with that just because I'm not really bothered if it stains my head, like I can sort that out afterwards. Um, but yeah, if you don't want it to stain, then just put some Vaseline around your hairline. So once you've put your hair dye on and you've rubbed it all through your hair, I'm basically just going to leave it for around 20 to 30 minutes. Um, basically what I did was just put it on my roots as you saw and then dragged it through the ends and I've just left it kind of to 
do its thing. So I'll come back once I've washed this off in around 30 minutes time and yeah I'll show you the next step. So I've just rinsed off the hair colour and as you can see I have zero roots. So you can't see it that well at the moment because my hair's still quite damp. So all I want to do now is take my hair brush and just brush through. Try and get out as many lugs as you can. So you end up with your hair looking something like this. So as you can see, I have no brown roots anymore. It's all this like gingery, auburn colour. Now sometimes I do just leave it like this. I'm perfectly happy with it being left in this sort of state to be fair, obviously once it's dry. But if you do want to make it slightly brighter, then you want to use this. So this is the hair mask I was on about earlier. So on wet hair, so it's not obviously dripping wet my hair. It's just like damp. You want to take this and smother it all over and then just leave it on for as long as you want really. I mean, I'm going to be pouring it on tonight and then go and have tea. So once you've applied it all, you just want to put your hair up like this. I've just put it in one of those bobbles that doesn't like tangle your hair up and knot it and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to leave this on for a while, go have my tea, and then I will check back in with you once I have washed it off and dried my hair. So this is my hair all finished, I've literally just washed it off in the shower and then dried it with my hair dryer and put some heat protect spray on and that is all. So as you can see it's got like a lovely nice fresh gingery colour and the roots have gone. So it is getting darker outside now so I don't know actually if you're going to be able to tell but yeah my roots have actually all gone and it's now this lovely coppery ginger colour so yeah I'm really happy with it this is my full hair transformation hopefully you've enjoyed it and if you do decide to give this a try for yourself and please let me know in the comments box down below how you get on and yeah so this is the finished look I'll show you a little like clip in here in a second with like a few little extra bits just so you can see how it really looks so if you've liked today's video and you want to see more then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time guys see you later